We are going to talk about Candox and this flag thing. Oh, well, people need to be awake and they need to be, need to be awake and they need to be aware. They need to stand up against the sun. Hey everyone, it's Analytical Chick. So, as I mentioned in my brief intro, so I was watching this video and, and last night I watched this video. So I'll link these in the description. This is Roger, that's just my view. And this is Conservatarian Curator. So um, he did a video about this. Apparently, Candox tweeted this out and I just went and looked and it's up to 79,000 likes. What is wrong with people? So she tweeted out, if I were president, the punishment for f for burning the U.S. flag would be renunciation of citizenship. No jail time, no fine, simply one year to liquidate your assets and get the hell out of our country. In exchange, we'd extend citizenship to a hardworking legal immigrant. She's just pandering to her base. So her base are these conservatives who live in rural areas who basically don't didn't never really followed politics that much a lot of them probably didn't even vote and and the rust belt um and probably didn't vote and then also like i would say i was one of these people who like barely voted when and then when Trump came along but I ended up like waking up and I've been like learning and studying and so I like actually know stuff yeah this is pretty crazy now both of these guys say oh I don't think it should be punished it's free speech free speech blah 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 I just want to say this about that um so in the 60s it was illegal, or before the 60s, it was illegal to burn a flag. I believe the punishment was like jail time or maybe a fine or something. And then the left started burning flags and they went to court. And one of their little activist judges said, oh, it's speech. No, it's an action. It's not speech. So um, they love to conflate action and speech. And so I don't agree that it's free speech. Don't agree. It's an action. It's not speech. Maybe you feel like that action makes a statement, but punching someone in the face also makes a statement. And if you can argue that burning a flag is free speech, then you can argue that beating people up is free speech. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah. <laughs> kind of a problem. So I don't agree that it's free speech, that it's a First Amendment right, but I definitely, I would just do like jail time or fine. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't kick people out of the country. And honestly, I think we should close the borders. I, I don't really think that we should really be even having too many legal immigrants. Maybe some, but I think we should be doing whatever we can to reduce it. We have so many people here. Let me tell you something. My county is like half foreign born. And then another like 20-30% are second generation or more. Or or 20 30 percent or more are second generation. Like literally everyone in New York City, almost especially where I live, they basically assume that you are not an American. People say, Where are you from? And I say, I'm an American. And they say, no, no, but I mean, your parents, where are your parents from? I'm an American. My parents were Americans. Like they don't, they can't even comprehend it because none of them are Americans like several generations back, you know, pretty much everybody, like their parents, not everybody, but I mean, not as much in the Jewish community, but, like, when I was in college in New York City, yeah, almost everybody that I was friends with, um, a lot of them were born here, but most of them, like, their parents weren't. 
Like, I didn't have, I don't, I didn't have, I think of, like, the people that I was friends with. One, her mom, and she was, like, Russian and came here. She has citizenship now. Um, another one, her family was from Pakistan. And, yeah, I, I look back on that and I learned a lot. <laughs> um... Her family was from Pakistan. Um, another one, her family was from Mexico. I never found out if she was, if they were legal or not. Um, I had another friend whose family was Syrian, but she was like a Syrian Jew. And I had some friends who were like Persian Jews. Actually, my land, my landlord and landlady are Persian Jews. Um... So, I mean, like, so many people. Um, anyway, thanks for stopping by. People need to be awake and they need to be People need to be awake and they need to be aware. They need to stand up against the sun. People need to be awake. People need to be awake and they need to be aware. They need to stand up against the stuff. And it's, and it's so politically engaged. And, and it's so politically engaged.